I am Lydia Nakayese Schubert. I'm the founder and managing director of Mohamegan Oils of Hope. I'm passionate about cosmetics. I'm passionate about the environment. I'm passionate about consumers. While conserving our environment, and putting a community at the heart of it all. I lived and worked in Germany for about 12 years and then came back to Uganda to build up a sustainable value chain around the production of cosmetic oils in Uganda. When we were looking for a site for the factory, we traveled a bit within the, the areas of the Shear Belt. Uh, on our way here from uh, Lira town, you pass a, a village called Balonyo. Balonyo has a memorial site. There is a, a mass grave with over 300 people buried there who were killed in February of 2004. Balonio means a place of wealth or plenty, but also it's a land where you have a lot of shea trees, which are really a natural resource and treasure for this country. And that's why we came up with the name Momegan, because uh, Mo means oil of something, hence the name Momegan, bringing hope into this whole value chain of shea butter. To get shea butter, you need to wait quite a long time. The trees we see are trees that are over 100 years old. Shear trees need at least 15 to 20 years to fruit for the first time. During the buying season, we go out to the different communities. There are those who bring for us to the factory gate. So we have these nuts washed and dried again in the sun. So we want to really be the best. You can take our product and feel comfortable using it or recommending it to somebody else. Today we share the journey to Dubai. Earlier this year in uh, January, the Ministry of ICT National Guidance put out a call for startups and innovators to submit uh, their applications to showcase at the Innovation Week at the Ugandan Pavilion at the Dubai 2020 Expo. I put in my application and on 24th of February, I went for vetting and I was chosen to go showcase my company in Dubai. That is an opportunity that should be taken lightly. We were honored to be there. I was invited to attend Elevate by Ecobank by the marketing manager charity, Cam Seaman. I received an email from a part of the Ministry of ICT to prepare to set up a demo for how we're going to present our products in Dubai on the 9th of March. Sometimes I believe the vision for Momekin is to transform the lives in the communities in northern Uganda through the production of high-value natural cosmetic oils. We have more than shea butter in northern Uganda. We have uh, things like marula, desert dead, sour plum, all which are very exciting uh, uh, cosmetic oils. We started on the cosmetic niche simply because um, it is one of the, the fastest growing uh, markets in the world, even here in Uganda. The trend to use natural products has really accelerated, especially since COVID started. People have become more conscious of what they're using for their, to put in their bodies, but also what they're using to feed their skins. And um, there's been a high demand for natural oils generally. And people now shop from the food aisle for their skincare more than the, the, the cosmetics um, section. So it's important that we're able to respond to that as a company, but also because we are big on sustainability, it is helps for us when we're able to diversify our portfolio as well. And uh, how that works is simply you know, when you learn about shea trees and shepherd, you become so excited. And everybody asks, can I plant a tree? Like, of course you can plant a tree. How long will it take to bear fruit? Like you need at least seven to 10 years if you plant the grafted ones. And if you plant from seed straight, you need at least um, 20 years to bear fruit for the first time. It's not a very exciting thing to tell somebody who wants to become your supplier that they need to wait a long time to, to get some income from you. So in, uh, in doing our homework, we discovered all these other trees that actually have shorter maturation periods that could, we could easily insource and they also like they grow within the same system so we're not ex introducing exotic trees per se but just domesticating a lot of these wild species uh, for instance marula takes about three years to fruit for the first time desert dates about four years sour plum about four years as well and then now like moringa for instance is a very exciting tree because it only needs about 12 months of it to fruit for the first time and it matures in about two to three years, and then you'll have a good yield from it. And so we're like, if you want to be, how we talk to our community is first of all, we need your shea nuts, 
but further more than that, we need you to start to prepare to plant these things so that we can have more opportunities to, to grow together and have income for everyone from all these things we're doing.